Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some off limit. This is vegan and gluten-free cereal. Uh, I have the Pandan, the strawberry. Um, Chamberlain coffee and cinnamon syrup. These were, you're gonna die. These were $7.99. These were $8 a box from Good Foods Co-op. So, um, and th that's the only place I've seen them. And so when I saw them in Good Foods Co-op, it was like, I need to buy that cereal because um, I've never heard of it before. And when we brought it home and we did the grocery haul, someone said, I'm surprised you found those in the store. So it's like, well, I've never even heard of it before. <laughs> I don't know where you've heard of it because I haven't heard but of it. But Good Food Co-op has a lot of like healthy, organic yes. food. So, so you would expect them so that, to... That would be the place I would expect it to be. Okay. So this is a 7.5 ounce box. That's how it looks. It says, sup, zombie here, your favorite midnight gamer. I only eat cereal as chill as me, so I told them to make mine green. Yeah. It's packed with supercharged ingredients like spir spirulina and turmeric, so I can snack on cereal all the time. Uh, learn more about me by checking out my room. Help it come to life by coloring in and tagging us at off limits. So, so each one of these cereal boxes has, and I'll hold it up and show you. It has a coloring page. It has a coloring page on the back. Which so, is pretty cool. At least they have something. Yes. I would rather have, did I hold that upside down? I don't know if I held it upside down or not. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. Um, I would rather it have a coloring page than nothing at all. Um, so it says we've never put you in a box. Boxes are for cereal. In a world full of rules, we do what's off limits. We're bringing you all the fun and flavor with none of the artificial ingredients commonly found in cereal. Our offensively delicious flavors and a band of mascots are here to help you play with your food. So go ahead, break the rules. Pandan is an aromatic leaf similar in flavor to vanilla, mm -hmm. commonly used in Southeast Asian cooking. Uh, three fourths cup, 35 grams, 130 calories, and there are six servings in here. I looked it up too, just because we, we uh, were curious, and it also said sometimes it has a grassy flavor. I don't really get it grassy. It's a little earthy, but it's, it, I agree, it does kind of remind you of a vanilla kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. But there's also some other seasons they mentioned, like turmeric and stuff, that are an earthy flavor as well. So that could be where I'm getting that kind of base level flavor. It's definitely not just vanilla. No. It, um, rice flour, organic cane sugar, oat flour, pea fiber, organic coconut flour, turmeric powder for color, organic coconut oil, natural pandan flavor, spirulina extract for color. Those are the ingredients. It's a very hard cereal. Mm hmm Not crunchy. Hard. Yeah, hard. Which makes it kind of crunchy, but it, yeah, it's not just crunchy. I don't mind it, honestly. I could eat it. I agree. The thing is, is um, you, I could eat it and be okay with it, but I personally would like something with some more sweetness to it. Right. Um, there is a little bit of sweetness to it, and it does have a vanilla flavor to mm -hmm. it. Um, it just doesn't have the the sweet vanilla flavor to yeah, it. Yeah, it's not it's not a sugary sweet zero by any means, but it's still I, I could eat it. I, I could I eat it. I wouldn't choose yes. to because it's a little earthy for me, but. But I still like it. Yeah, you do get that uh, a little bit of earthiness, but yeah. it's not overpowering. It's not like green tea. <laughs> but then again, it's not vanilla like um, the the uh, sugar cookie toast crunch or whatever it is. Uh, you know, it's not like that right. either. Um, so you do know you're eating a healthier cereal, um, but but not bad. Not bad it's not bad. Uh, this is strawberry. Wow. What's that one's name? Sparks? Yeah, what was that his name? Zombie. zombie. Oh, Zombie. Okay, and this one is Spark. Yeah, Spark Strawberry Cereal. It says, 
Hey, I'm Spark, your new BFF, and I'm always living my best wow. life, so I need a healthy cereal that helps me recover from all the fun. I told them to make mine strawberry, a flavor as sweet and flirty as me. Dare you to fall in love, XXOO. Oh, that's smells really good. Oh, uh, let's see. And it says strawberry is a fruit rich with sweet and juicy flavor for the ultimate berry fast. Uh, 130 calories for three fourths cups. Yeah, it's a little hard. I love the flavor though. The flavor's good. You could eat this like candy. Yeah. Yeah, I wish the texture was a little less hard, but. You know what though? Uh, because the flavor is so good, I don't mind the texture of it. The, the texture of the first one, it's like, it, it didn't have the sweetness to back it up, so it didn't make me want to eat more. Right. Whereas this has the, the really nice strawberry flavor, and it does have sweetness there, and it does make me want to eat more. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind it being a harder cereal. So you definitely could eat that uh, either one of these out of milk. The flavors don't diminish in milk either. The zombie one was just as strong. Mm -hmm. This one's just as strong. Yeah, just as strong in the milk. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Honestly, I like it better out of the milk. I mean, I like it either way, but I don't know. I like just popping it in my mouth for like a snack. I like it better in milk. And I think the milk will soften it up a bit mm -hmm. after a little bit. I may go back and try the strawberry after it's set for a minute. If you like strawberry, there's nothing wrong with that. No, that it's no, no, delicious. No. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, you wanted this one next. I wanted yeah, coffee. coffee. I think that's what you had next. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Chamberlain Coffee. And this is Dash. That's his name, Dash. Hi, I'm Dash, your overachieving bunny. I'm never not going, so I need to collab on a cereal that can match my energy and then some, you know? Chamberlain Coffee knows all about that, so we're bringing you the ultimate pick-me-up. Oh, and it tastes like dark chocolate and turns the milk to cold brew. Amazing, right? It does smell like coffee. So, uh, made with micro roasted coffee beans. Oh. 140 calories for three fourths cup. You want it? <laughs> That's coffee. It sure is. I mean, you know what you're getting for sure. Ooh. Make sure I have enough for the last one. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I mean, that's like chewing on the grounds almost. That's how strong it is. It is, but I'm picturing buying that and making your own like mix. Like, like you know, we call it white trash uh, just because it's a mixture of like cereal and the powdered sugar and like M&Ms and stuff like that. You could do that with a coffee, a coffee version of that. And uh, with like uh, uh, dark chocolate chips or even milk chocolate chips or something like that, and I think it would be really good. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's a little hard though, that's the only bad thing. Yeah, for a mix like that, that's true. It's better than milk. You know what though? Even when we make homemade Chex Mix, we buy those bagel chips and they're that's hard. True, they're pretty hard. They're really hard. I like it better than milk because the milk helps tamper mm. down a little bit of the the coffee flavor it did turn the milk uh, brown too. <laughs> um, I like it better. I like it both ways, but I do like prefer it in milk. Yeah. Outside it, of milk, it just seems like raw, raw coffee grounds to me. Whereas in milk, it actually tastes like coffee. Yes, it tastes like you. It's, yes, it tastes like you're having a bowl full of coffee that you can eat. Yeah. Um, and it's a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. nice coffee flavor cereal. Yep. Yeah, I, I like. I like it. It. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that either. Okay, this last one And that's is, something you don't see every day is coffee flavored cereal. No. Have we <laughs> ever even had coffee Maybe, cereal? Maybe, I don't know, but I, I don't 
Now that Kevin said it, I don't remember ever having a coffee. Before. We've done a lot of reviews though, so it's hard to say. But I don't if remember. We have. You can let us. I don't know. remember it. I don't either. Flex, cinnamon. He says flex here. I never miss arm day or my uh, or my morning cereal. I told them to make mine cinnamon so I can uh, keep the burn going all day long. Get pumped. Yeah, I like their I like their mascots. The little characters are quite cute. Um, says cinnamon is a warming spice that packs a punch and tingles your taste buds. Some people might think it's silly that they have a description on the box. I like that. I wish all cereals had a really nice description on the box. Some do, but most don't. It's funny they didn't with the micro roasted coffee beans. They, they didn't did. describe it. It just says made with micro roasted that's coffee beans. That's it though. They I mean, didn't really but I mean, I think that's describe it. Describe the coffee. That was it. Yeah. Um, it's three fourths cups, 140 calories. Yeah, it may seem silly to describe a strawberry, but. But I like it that they did that. And I haven't really taken a look at these rooms, but like. They're his, basic, but it would still be kind of neat to color. His, this tastes like a cinnamon cookie. Mm -hmm, it does. Um, his has like a, uh, what do you call that? Weights. Weights and barbells. barbells. And what are those things? Rings. rings hanging from the ceiling? How, a yoga mat. He has um, trophies, trophies and, and he has a mirror on the wall. <laughs> um, it's good. It's very strong cinnamon. It reminds me of like a, uh, like a snickerdoodle type cookie. That's yeah. what it reminds me, the yeah. flavor. The good thing is it does have a little bit of sweetness there, so mm -hmm. it's not all like cinnamon. Exactly. Uh, so if it had been just the like powder, it wouldn't have been, <coughs> would have been good. But there is sweetness. <coughs> Sorry, that went down on. Okay. I like it better than milk. Helps like, spread out that cinnamon. Milk. Once again, I like it both ways, but I like it better in milk too. Yeah. Um, and it, it it tastes even more like a cookie. Mm -hmm. um, it even it it has the same cinnamon. I've had some oatmeal cookies with that same like cinnamon flavor, and so when I'm uh, it took that bite in milk, I'm thinking. That reminds me of an oatmeal cookie with cinnamon. That's just what that tastes like to me. I really like that in mm -hmm. milk a lot. I went back to the strawberry to see how soft they got. Yeah, I'm glad you did. It's still pretty crunchy. I mean, it's not as hard, but it's still it's still hard a little bit, but it's not as hard. I have to say, yes, it was expensive. I do think we paid more because we got it at Good Foods Co-op. If you buy it someplace else, you're not going to pay that much. Unless you're going to a specialty shop like a vitamin store or something, then you might be paying even more. <laughs> then you might be paying more. Right. Um, the only one that I personally would not choose again was the Pandan. Me too. Um, it's, it's a little earthy for me. It's it's a little different. There, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's just a little different. Yeah. If it had been like all vanilla, then it would be di then then I would say I would get it. Um, but my favorite, I really genuinely like the strawberry, the coffee, and the cinnamon. I think for my favorite to eat all the time in milk, I'm gonna say the cinnamon would be my go-to for in milk. Yeah, mine would probably be the strawberry. And strawberry, if I were to eat one like as a snack just to eat on it, I like the strawberry milk too, but I think that uh, the strawberry is going to be my second choice. Right. And strawberry then, would be mine. And then the coffee, sir, the coffee's really, really good too if you're a coffee drinker. Yeah, yeah. But I'm pleased with these, very pleasantly surprised because yeah, you good. never know, you know. Yeah, we've had some really horrible. Um, they were really more keto cereal than these, yes. so their texture and everything That's was true. bad. Right. Um, these are just vegan and uh, gluten free, right? Yeah, vegan, vegan and gluten free. free. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the flavors—they really did a decent job with the flavors, and and you might like that pandan flavor. Mm -hmm. And if you've had these, if you're watching this video and you've actually tried these. Which one is your favorite? You yeah, and if you know how much they cost, where you bought them, say where you bought them and how much they were, because that's always interesting for other people to see how absolutely, much they were. absolutely. So I will have a close-up picture of each of these for you at the end. And thanks for watching.